Now then, welcome back uh, to what is essentially a fireside chat uh, with a tasting video of the Kolsch that I did on my brew day video that I uploaded. So we're roughly about five weeks on, I believe. Uh, the beer is absolutely crystal clear. Oh, you can see that. I think it's better zoomed in towards my face, to be fair. Um, so yeah, um, also uh, massively uh, appreciate all the uh, positive comments. Uh, there wasn't any negative comments, bizarrely enough, which I assumed there probably would be, because there's, there's always a million ways of doing uh, one thing, and like uh, my castle's uh, opinions, everyone's got one. Uh, so yeah, uh, but yeah, it was very well received. Uh, massive, massive uh, shock to me, bizarrely. But anyway, moving on. So yeah, here we are. With, uh, we're on Eurovision Day, which is what this beer was originally brewed for. Because uh, we've got friends uh, travelling up from Bristol uh, and across from Manchester. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, and it's uh, it's really, 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 really good. <laughs> uh, I quite like what the um, the IHO33, also known as Lorian, from uh, from Indie Hop Farms, I believe. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. It's really limey. Uh, it's extremely drinkable. Uh, it finished at 1008, which is uh, nice and dry, really quaffable, really refreshing, really drinkable. Um, but yeah, let's get it tucked in. Nice sort of bready aroma um, from the Barker Pills. Absolutely love that malt. It's just always tastes so clean, but you get sort of this bready, honey vibe off it I just it's just ace I'm just such a massive fan of it i've gone through three sacks of it now i think i've got about eight kilos left or something along those lines so yeah if you can get hold of some definitely give it a try for your next lager brew day uh, i'm very very impressed with it and i really like what the sort of the um the vienna's brought to it which obviously as, as i stated in my original video uh never ever really put vienna in my cultures i've always just kept it purely base malt, maybe a tiny touch of wheat on the odd batch here and there. Um, but yeah, I think it's definitely something I'll continue doing. I'm interested to see what Barker Vienna sort of might bring to it on a, maybe a subsequent batch, which I do plan to do because um, I really want to try the bootleg biology uh, Mal, uh, Mustange uh, Kolsch, which uh, I'm assuming is uh, also getting a nice little uh, reference into the glass, which is Mustange's. Uh, but yeah. So, obviously, on this video, I've not served it in a stanch. I do have some, but, uh, yeah, this is absolutely banging weather yet again. Uh, it makes it look like Yorkshire will receive sunshine uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, which I can assure you it's not. Um, but, yeah, no, God, that's just... Um, I sound like I'm blowing smoke up my own backside, but I don't mean to. Um, it's just a really damn drinkable version of culture that I've done. Uh, Skipped a batch last year, didn't didn't bother doing one. Uh, focused a bit more on Hells. Um, I must admit, I don't really know why I bothered because I just love Kolsch. It just drinks so damn easy. There's nothing offensive about it. Uh, especially, obviously, when you jazz it up slightly, do something different, maybe put a different hop in. Uh, obviously, in this case, Lorien along with uh, Te uh, Tetnang. I think it was Tetnang. I can't remember what I put in it now. I'd have to reference the recipe and come back to you. Um, my memory's a little bit on the hazy side with that one, uh, which obviously this beer is not hazy. Uh, but yeah, um, again, uh, big shout out to the the, the yeast, uh, which does the majority of the work. Uh, in this case, obviously, it was the Lalamond Colne yeast, uh, which I, I have never had an issue with that yeast clearing. It just, it's ace. Uh, because as with everything, you know, I used to use WLP 029, and that always used to stay slightly hazy. Um, whether that was just down to my own process, I'm not, I'm not too sure, but um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, I, I do enjoy using that yeast. It's a fast fermenter. There's no real severe lag times, especially if you're using a bit more of a yeast vitamin or anything like that in your, in your brew process. Um, but yeah, it's an incredibly coughable beer. And I'll definitely uh, endeavor to do some more brew day videos. It's just unfortunately sometimes uh, time's quite restrictive. Uh, as you sort of try and get some get stuff done in between work and along those lines, but I will definitely try and do some more content because uh, people seem to you know greatly enjoy it and you know it's uh, quite uh, quite a good thing. But yeah, so thank you very much and uh, 
I don't really know what else to say. I mean, you get a you get a bit of lime vibes going on. Works really well with the uh, that. Uh, I definitely recommend buying some Lorien, or also known as IH033. Um, yeah, just get yourself some. Make a Kolsch. Kolsch is good. Cheers.